the convertible boys, man, we like a we like a crew, a new crew. The you crew. You understand? You crew? But well, I'm just I'm just one of the old Sabrero boys. Espinal. I was born in the Dominican Republic, came to New York at 11 years old, and still here. I started Sombrero Boys in 2015. The logo is my grandfather and daughter had when I was a kid. So the reason why I use that logo is because I want my grandfather to be everywhere. Like instead of, um, like, I don't care about making money out of it, I don't care about any of it. Basically, the more I see the logo anywhere, this is like my grandfather lives. My grandfather would get up every morning and the dog would follow him everywhere. My grandfather was like seven feet tall. So in order to hold back, like he would always walk around with his hands and his back like that. That's why you can see it in the drawing that his hands is, you know? When I was a kid, my father was always here in America, in New York. And I live with my mom and my grandfather. So basically my father my grandfather was like a like a father figure, you know? Like throughout those years. Anything that would happen, he would be the one to go to because he would always look out, you know? He was spoiled us basically. Well the logo the day after my grandfather passed away, I went and got a tattoo, it's right here. Um I got a tattoo. I was like, I need to get something to remember him. And instead, instead of um, getting a regular rest in peace or like his name or the date and stuff like that, I wanted to get something that, like before, like it's probably bad to think about it like this, but like before I always said like I wanted to get a sombrero tattoo for him, you know, like a sombrero. And then instead of getting a sombrero on the way to the tattoo shop, I thought about like a shadow of him just Cause that's how I remember him always just waking up, leaving the house, and the dog will always follow. Him. So I was like, "Yo, th that would be perfect." And I just look up on Google like a shadow, and then I kind of remade it into my own type of thing, you know, and made it look just like him. Well, me and my friend, we was at a party, and I was DJing, and I always wore a sombrero after my grandfather passed away. It was like a tribute, like I'm gonna just wear a sombrero on every gig, just for like a memory, you know. So. When, when I invited my friend, he came outside with a sombrero that night. Like, I invited him to come DJ with me. So he came with a sombrero and I was like, yo, we're the sombrero boys. And then in relation to the logo, you know how the dog and friend is best friend. And instead of saying friend, oh, that's my friend. In New York, we say, yo, that's my boy. This is my boy, this is my boy. So it's like sombrero boys, you know, like. So like, I feel like he's behind it all. Like everything that I do is never planned, it just happens on its own. And it's all like connections that just kind of all connects itself. And I feel like he's behind it all. Like, like I don't know. It's like there's something bigger than just me doing all of this. I'm a, if, as long as I'm alive, I'm gonna try my best to make it go all around the world. I see it being sold in, and other um, locations, like such as Macy's, Bloomingdale's, things like that. Um, I don't know, and the end goal would be, I never thought that far, because I just do it out of love. Like, I don't, I don't see it, you know? Like, my thing is to get the logo everywhere. As long as the logo goes everywhere, I'm happy. My grandfather lives, like he never died, you know?